Hi, welcome to part six of this pintail duck wood carving project. As you can see, I've started painting. Uh, this will be the last video in this series, and I apologize for it being so long in between because we've been uh, super crazy at work. Um, I also apologize for the very first part of this because I accidentally deleted uh, four or five clips off of this camera and I had to rely on some phone footage that I had taken uh, that I had used for doing some shorts. Uh, but it goes back to a regular format later in the video. Uh, but I appreciate y'all watching, so let's get back to the video.
start off using paint and these tiny q-tips to try and get these feather patterns on here and it was a pain in the butt I couldn't control the paint it was globbing on so what I've done was I painted over it and then I'm gonna use charcoal pencil to draw them on it it's a lot easier to do and then once I get it all on I'll use a uh, a satin polyurethane to spray it to fix it on there but this is so much easier to do and it's gonna take a lot of time off of doing it I don't know why I didn't think of it in the first place Go ahead and take the little Q-tip. Just kind of blend those in a little bit.
this is Pearl X Dual Blue Green. It's a powder that gives iridescence to your work. Uh, this particular one, it looks blue, but it has a green shift. Uh, right now in this light, it looks green, but outside in the sun, or even here, you tilt it around, and it kind of shifts back and forth between blue and green. Uh, it's a real, real neat deal. I use it on fish as well, and uh, a little bit goes a long ways. It doesn't take much. Uh, after apply it, I, I spray it with a polyurethane matte finish to, to set it. Use the Pearl X again here on the side of the head and cheeks here. I used a maroon and a green. Uh, and again, just very lightly. I don't want to overdo it here. I just wanted to give it a hint of iridescence. Okay, that's gonna be it for part six of this pintail duck wood carving project. This one's been quite a challenge for me in that it's the first duck that I've ever carved. I think I mentioned that in the first part of the video series on this on this project. Uh, but I made a lot of mistakes along the way, and but I've, I think I've learned from those mistakes. So any duck project I do in the future, I'll have a better feel for what to do and what not to do. Um, but the next couple projects I got coming up are gonna be fish, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the next one's going to be a black crappie. So if you have any questions or comments about this one, please leave them for me in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like these videos. It helps with these videos get out to more people. But I appreciate y'all watching, and I will see you on the next one.